Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video of Gangi Gang. And today we are going to continue our ROM hacking series. Um, and today's video is going to be about changing the Pokemon Emerald version banner. So the last one on ROM hacking, which was also our channel's first video, was on the changing the background, the Rayquaza background um, of the title screen. This one is going to be about changing the Emerald version banner. So we had a, we had a, uh, our video did quite well, got like over 200 views as of right now, which did better than I thought personally. So, and we also had a couple of people comment and say they'd like a second video. So we thought that if our videos are helping out people in the ROM hacking community and people are watching them, then why not make a second video, you know, on the banner. So yeah, again, it's really hard to find like proper tutorials, especially on Pokemon Emerald. Like most of them are on Fire Red. Um, so it's pretty hard to find good tutorials on Pokemon Emerald ROM hacking, especially with changing the background and all of that. So yeah, hopefully this tutorial does help out. So our first step, we need our ROM. So it can be a fresh ROM. If you've already watched the first video, which, by the way, is I recommend you do watch right now. If you do want to change the background, I recommend you do that first. To be honest, it doesn't really matter, but it's just a, you know, good organization. And there's a couple things I mentioned in that video, which might correlate to this video. So I would recommend you go watch that one right now and then come back here and watch this one. So yeah, so the Emerald ROM I'm using is just a... Uh, the one that I modified in the first video and uh, in which I changed the background from Rayquaza to Mr. Mime and uh, so yeah just make sure you create a backup of your ROM right now if you're using a fresh ROM also just create a backup because it'll save you from the hassle of re-downloading it but yeah just make sure you create a backup then you need to download all the tools so I have a file with just all the tools right here already and uh, I rec um. All the tools will be in the description to download. So I will have the link for all of them in the description. So just go download them there. And yeah, so we can now pretty much start. After you've done all that, we can now start. So just download them all. Um, so I'm actually gonna go through the process of making the banner because it's actually kind of tricky with the resizing, image splitting, and merging. So I thought it'd be good if I included like making the image, or I mean making the banner, the version banner. So for me, my my background is a Mr. Mime, and Mr. Mime's like a pinkish purple, I'd say. So let's go for purple version, I guess. Pink version or pur purple version. I'll just go for purple version. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just for the sake of the tutorial. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I have all my tabs ready for everything we'll need for now to make the banner. So go whatever you use for making the banner. I, I like using pixel art. It's simple. Um, it's not anything fancy, but it's simple. And like it's also good with like canvas sizes. You can have a canvas of any size which paint is pretty finicky with, but yeah. So just open up whatever you make your banner on, right? Paint, Photoshop, it can be anything really, as long as you can edit the size of the canvas. So for us, we are going to need a 128 by 32. So I already have it. So make sure the width is 128 and the height is 32. Ultimately, we want a 64 by 64, but this is, um, we're going to start with a 128 by 32. So it's 28, it should be 32, 128 by 32. So just create new drawing, it's okay. And here is our canvas, 128 by 32 canvas. So now what we're going to do is change the background. So we first need to enter a background. It can... It can be anything as long as you don't need it in your um, banner. So obviously the banner is going to be clear, right? We don't want like a purple version with like a black background just in the actual game, right? It's going to be a PNG, so it's going to go away, but we still need to enter, enter a background. And you'll see why 
in the later steps. So for me, I'm not using black in my banner, so I can just have black as the background. If you are using black in your like, um, like a banner title, like version title, like if you're if you're making like a black version or something, a retro black version or something, then make sure you have a different background color. Make sure it's not black in that case. But yeah, in my case, it's just gonna be purple. So yeah. <clears throat> now I'm just going to speed up this part. Just use the space to write whatever you want as your banner. I'm just going to use the text tool. So yeah, uh, this part is just going to get sped up. So don't mind me. All right. Well, I mean, that was pretty quick. I probably didn't even need to speed that up. <clears throat> And uh, you can obviously make it fancier and whatnot, and change some colors, add like some of the letters in pixel that aren't that great, like the R and the N. You can change those up, but uh, again, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to make it quicker. Yours probably look better than mine's, but yeah. Now you just want to download, <clears throat> and make sure you download as a PNG. This is very important. Make sure it's the correct dimensions. And just click download. Should have downloaded right there. Now you need an image splitter. You want to split it in half, um, vertically in half to be exact. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to have the link in the description to this website. Um, I recommend you use this one. It's just straight to the point. Like it just vertically splits the image, which is pretty much all we need. Uh, I'm just going to quickly find my not sure where it went. It's my most recent one. I believe it was this one. Yeah, okay, it's this one. So purple version, it should split in half. It should split exactly in half. If it if if it's not splitting exactly in half, um, just try again. But it should split in half exactly. And make sure you click vertically. We don't want to we don't want to split horizontally or both. We just want to split vertically. Whoops, yeah, uh, for some reason it's not centered anymore. So I'm just gonna put it in again. I don't know why it does that. Just make sure it is centered. You know what, I'm just gonna enter the website again because uh, I can't. Image splitter. Right, so I'm just gonna put it in. Okay, it's in it's exactly in half. So for some reason, if you click one of these two, it just kind of shifts to the side, and it's not exactly in half. And trust me, you need to split it exactly in half for this to work. So just press split image, and just download these two. So download this one and download this one, and make sure you download the PNG, not the JPEG. Now you want to merge those two images. So. Now we have two images that are 64 by 32. Now we are going to vertically merge those two images and make it a 64 by 64. That's basically the format that we have to insert. Um, that's the format we insert the image into the game with. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So I believe it was this one. Yep, and... So we're going to merge these two images and make sure you click vertically and press merge image. And this is how it should look like, right? So half of it like per and ver, and then the other half of purple and the other half of version. It should be just like this. And again, download the PNG. This time I'm actually going to change the name because it's kind of confusing with all these weird names. I'm just going to change it to purple version. doesn't really matter, but it's just so I don't get confused. So now we're finally done making the banner. So we can just exit out of here. Um, we're finally done making the banner. You know what? I'm just going to go to downloads and just put it right here. So we have everything we need now. We have the banner. And again, I'm so, if you've already watched, if you already made your thing and know exactly how to do it, you can just skip. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to get to the 
actual stuff, like inserting it into the game. So the first tool you will need is this one right here, I view. Open it up. And again, it should you should have downloaded this from the description. And then open the image. So right here on desktop, I, I just put it on desktop. So purple version PNG, open that up. Um, now what you're going to do is go to image. And uh, this is what I, and now I'm going to explain here why you need the background, why you need a background color. So if you go to, if you go to um, palette, um, actually before I do that, I'm just going to do something else. Uh, so first you want to decrease color depth, right? So that's what you're going to do. Press decrease color depth. So go to image and decrease color depth. You want to decrease it to 256 colors. So in my case, it's already 256 colors. So decrease it to 256 colors, all right? And then press OK. Then go back into image and go to palette and press edit palette. So right here you can see the first color in the palette is black and the second one is purple. So the black is from the background, right? And the reason why is because the first color in the palette will show up as clear in the game. Like in the game, the first color of the palette will not show up, right? So the problem with um, not having a background, so if I had done all of this without putting the background in, without like filling in the background with black, the first color in the palette would have just been purple, and then the purple would have just been clear in the game. It like the t it just wouldn't show up, right? The entire my entire title would just be clear, right? It just wouldn't show up in the game. So make sure the first color in your palette is the background. If it is not, then you need to redo it. Um, and make sure the other colors are second, third, and whatnot. Make sure none of the colors you need are first. So in my case, I'm good. Now go back to image. You want to export. So click export palette and save it to the same location would be nice. And just name it the same thing, right? Purple version. It's going to be a .pal file. And then you want to import it because you want to index the image. If you don't index the image, then you can input it into the game. So make sure you, after you export the palette, you import it in as well. And then you go to File, Save As, go to Stop, and uh, just save it and replace the original one. Yeah, because we made changes, we indexed it and changed its color depth and everything, so yeah. After you've done that, you're done with this image. You're done modifying the image. So now you want to go into this application. So open it up. So this is where we actually input the image into the game. So we open file. We go to desktop and just open up our game wherever it was, right here, Emerald version. You open it up and now I'm going to quickly find the location of the emerald version thing so all right so it's at 2612 if, if it is not at if it's not at 2612 you can just look around so in my case it's not um, also also you want to make sure, so just go to 2612 and make sure it's selected in 256 color mode. There you go, now it shows up. So go to 2612 and then click 256 color mode, right, because that's um, our color depth for our banner. So it's going to show emerald version, just like that. Now what we want to do is we want to import an image, right? We want to replace this one with the banner that we made. So go into desktop, wherever your thing is located, purple version.png. Right, you got it right here. So here it just shows the palette for the entire thing, right? Black, purple, and then just the rest is that. Um, after you've imported it, you want to press right to ROM. All right, so 
make sure that export image is clicked and automatically fixed pointers click this may also I just keep this one checked as well it doesn't it doesn't really matter but yeah and make sure export palette is not checked make sure this one is not checked so just make sure your thing looks like this and then press OK all right so we're good um, for in some cases um, it might say that like your offset is too big um, for that go to my video on the my first ROM hacking video which was on changing the background I'll show you what to do if an error pops up after you click OK just go to that one but yeah in most cases it shouldn't really like for mines I had a small palette like anyways and barely any colors so it I don't have to change my image offset and it's fine so after we've done that um, we basically just you can just exit out of the game for now so everything is saved now here's the testing we want to see if um, our title pops up now the colors will be screwed up but are you so yeah our colors will be screwed up but the title should show up somehow it should show up it should be like mainly white I'd say but yeah so let's see what it looks like it should just use the palette that the emerald version uses so yeah as you can see this is what it looks like purple version so it's just pretty much just gray in this case so our title did screw up I mean sorry I screwed up there our title did show up so we did everything right so far um, now we just need to load that palette in to the game right so for this you want to use this application which again you should have downloaded earlier from the description so it's called the advanced palette editor so open up your ROM so in our case it was in desktop I think I think it already gave me the location but it's fine all right open this game up now um, just give me a sec I'm gonna have to find the hex offset for the location of the palette All right, so I found the offset, the location. So we this is it's DDE four three eight. It's the hex offset. Just type that in, and then press load. And this is the palette for the current Emerald version banner. Now we need to change it, right? So the purple version actually shows up as purple, right? So we need to load our palette in. So we, down here, you click this import which is this blue arrow thing right here. Go to wherever you saved, your .pal file. Also make sure uh, right here, it's gonna be defaulted as a .gpl. We wanna make sure it's .pal or else our .pal is not gonna show up, right? So just scroll down and press .pal. And right here, purple version .pal, and it loads in. Sometimes it might give you an error. If it does, then just by hand, just type them in and again, if you're still having problems then my first video goes over how to do that so check that out so yeah after you've done that you press replace it's just gonna replace this with this so replace and then press load and there you go it shows up just like that so now we're pretty much done uh, we just check one more time right we open up our whatever emulator you're using and enter our game in I'm just going to full screen, you know, for the epic reveal. And purple version should show up with the appropriate palette. And there you go, right there. Purple version. Purple version has successfully shown up. As you can see, looks exactly how it should. Um, it's, it's a bit off-centered, but that's because I didn't really bother to properly center it um, when I was making it. Because again, for the sake of the tutorial, yours probably looks better. But yeah, hopefully it did work out for you. As you can see, if you followed all the steps, it should work for you as well. Um, if you're still having trouble, 
feel free to comment down below and ask uh and we'll try to get back to you as fast as we can you know and we'll definitely try to help you out we probably have the answer but yeah if you followed everything step by step you should have it right i even went through how to um make the banner because uh, i know it is pretty complicated so it, hopefully it helped people out there as well um that's pretty much it uh don't think there's anything else to cover for this video that's how you change the banner and of course you can make it more fancy and everything but yeah so for the future of our rom hacking series um, i'm thinking about making a video on changing like the music like adding custom music and adding your own music into the game um we can make a tutorial on that also other stuff like adding megas into the game just basically whatever you want you know um even we're learning you know i'm not like that i'm not like um i'm pretty new at this stuff too like i'm pretty new haven't been doing this for that long either so i'm learning as well with you guys and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this and feel free to leave down suggestions for future videos so again i said i was thinking about making one on changing the sound and changing sounds and changing the music in the pokemon emerald game um i don't know if you guys would be interested in that if you would then again let us know and if you would like something else then also let us know and yeah we're gonna try to just put out more content on this rom hacking series like our first video did pretty well so um we'll see how well this does i guess so yeah thanks for watching guys like please remember to like and subscribe and it would really support us and help us out as we're just starting off as a channel and We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.